being the merc with a mouth isn't easy, he just makes it look like it is. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down the top 10 worst things that happened to Deadpool. Think you know comics? Click here to take the new Deadpool trivia quiz on WatchMojo.com. It's pretty hard, but get it right and you could win a free download of our ebook, WatchMojo's 50 Most Influential Comics of the 80s. To play, click on the link in the description. For this list, we're looking at the times that life was less than kind to Wade W. Wilson, Marvel's number one fourth wall breaking, regenerating mercenary. Keep in mind that while Deadpool does have a kick-ass healing factor, he still feels pain. So despite his ability to get over these injuries relatively quickly, they're nonetheless horrific. We're specifically looking at incidents from the comics, which means his utterly shameful treatment in X-Men Origins Wolverine won't be on our list. Wait, is that you? Your striker finally figured out how to shut you up. Number 10. Getting bifurcated by Thor and Luke Cage. Things can get hectic inside Wade's noggin, but having another psychopath with regenerative abilities in there just makes it worse. When Wade discovered that he had been accidentally merged with the supervillain Madcap, who had been whispering in his ear as one of his text box voices for years, he needed to get him out pronto. There are a few ways he could have gone about this, but his solution was for Thor and Luke Cage to each grab one of his arms and pull. Deadpool got split down the middle, with one half regenerating into Wade and the other half becoming Madcap. Looks painful, but worth it. Number 9. Feeding Archangel with pieces of his own body Deadpool is known for many things, his sharp comedic timing and impeccable fashion sense among them. Being a team player though, not so much. But this is one time Wade really took one for the team. While on a mission with X-Force, Wade and Archangel were both attacked by Apocalypse's Horseman Famine, who infected them both with a wasting disease. Wade was able to shrug it off, but Angel wasn't so lucky. In order to keep his teammate alive, Wade started slicing off small pieces of himself and feeding them to his down and out colleague. Pretty touching, but in a way that makes us feel a bit ill. Number 8. Having a grenade go off in his stomach It's surprising that the Great Lakes Avengers, a team of lovable losers dedicated to protecting the Great Lakes region using their not terribly impressive superpowers, would give Deadpool a run for his money. But during the events of Civil War, the team forced Deadpool to get a little creative in his approach, much to his own detriment. During a scrap with the team of underdogs, Wade turned himself into a living bomb by pulling the pin on a grenade and swallowing it. The results were not pretty, with Wade's stomach getting a short-lived renovation into much more of an open-concept kind of organ. And to make matters worse, all it really did was mess up the GLA's pad. Number 7. Breaking his own bones and chewing his arm off Your best bet for getting Deadpool out of your hair for a while is generally to incapacitate or restrain him since we all know how well trying to kill him usually works. When Wade found himself in one such predicament, he had to go to extreme lengths to escape. Chained up and hung in mid-air, Wade's only solution for escaping captivity was to break each and every one of his bones, allowing him to eventually slip out. For the record, that's around 206 bones that Wade had to break. But he wasn't done yet. He also had to bite his own arm off to escape. Yikes. Number 6. Regenerating out of his right hand Growing an entirely new body from scratch is a long and uncomfortable process, even when you have a starting position like a severed hand to start with. After seemingly perishing, Wade's mortal remains, that being his right hand, were buried. But death wasn't ready for Wade to join her just yet, and his hand started regenerating into a new body. Unfortunately, Wade regained consciousness midway through the process and had to wait while his bones, organs, and other assorted bits and pieces grew back. The poor guy didn't even have a magazine to read while it was going on. Uncomfortable and boring is a terrible combination. Number 5. Getting speared by an elephant You'd think that hunting down zombified versions of ex-US presidents would be a cakewalk, but everyone forgets about Teddy Roosevelt, the fightiest president to ever occupy the White House. While on the trail of the 26th Commander-in-Chief, Deadpool had the animal occupants of a zoo unleashed upon him. Unfortunately, this led to him getting speared by the tusk of an elephant. Thankfully, Deadpool and the elephant were able to put their differences aside and team up to stop Roosevelt. At least until the poor beast got electrocuted. Number 4. Getting atomized by the Hulk When the Jade Giant hits someone, it's usually someone tough enough to take the blow without getting instantly reduced to a fine red mist. After all, his sparring partners are usually tougher than normal folk. But this isn't the case with Deadpool, who demonstrated in gruesome detail what happens when someone as strong as the Hulk takes a swing at someone without invulnerability. As a part of a scheme to end his life once and for all, Wade antagonized the angriest Avengers, eventually leading to the Hulk completely demolishing him in one powerful punch. In another story, he even tore Deadpool apart, but Wade managed to bounce back from both run-ins with the Incredible Hulk. Number 3. Getting Dismembered by Carnage Some things just go together, like peanut butter and jelly or Ryan Reynolds in skin-tight bodysuits. And who better to pair with Deadpool than Carnage, the similarly deranged symbiote who can turn his limbs into a variety of blades and stabbing instruments. 
Deadpool spent the better part of an entire miniseries battling the symbiotic baddie, and Carnage put Wade's healing factor to the test time and time again. The worst of the worst had to be when he used his powers to slice and dice the Saskatchewan native into tiny pieces. Of course, Deadpool managed to piece himself together again with the help of four symbiotes, so it wasn't all bad in the end. Number 2. Becoming a Dinner for Zombies Zombie apocalypses may seem fun at first, but nobody's more aware of the downsides of having the world reduced to cannibalistic ghouls more than Deadpool. After all, if everyone is a zombie, how is he supposed to get paid to kill people? So when Deadpool had the chance to end the zombie apocalypse, he took it, and in typically gory fashion. After drinking a serum that would cure the undead's craving for human flesh, Deadpool allowed himself to be devoured by the zombie horde. We're just surprised that Deadpool would do something so selfless. Number 1. The 800 years he spent trapped in a fridge as we've revealed over the course of this list, Deadpool has had some pretty horrific things happen to him over the years, but this one is particularly brutal, even for him. After seeking shelter from a nuclear attack in a large industrial fridge, Wade became trapped when rubble sealed the door shut. Deadpool remained trapped in the fridge for a whopping 800 years, stuck in a cycle of death by starvation, followed by resurrection, and then starving to death again. There's grievous bodily harm, and then there's knowing you've spent the majority of your existence trapped inside a fridge, starving to death. Understandably, it only made him go crazier. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.